I'm uh, at the Edinburgh Book Festival to talk about the Blue Book, which came out about, I think, two weeks ago, which is a novel that, that I wrote. I'm not just randomly talking about somebody else's book. It is mine. It's all my fault. It's about a couple, really. Uh, a, a couple and a spare bloke who are on a, an ocean liner going to America. Um, one of the blokes has a history with the woman uh, who's part of the couple and another of the blokes does not um, and possibly during the course of the journey you change your idea of who's the spare and who, who are the couple and there are a lot of flashbacks and uh, two magic tricks that you can do yourself at home with the book which it took three years of research for me to uh, make self-working it's very difficult to make a self-working trick it's a book that isn't shit it's not wonderful but it isn't shit if I'm here and I have time, I always like to see Pete Furman, who's a great sort of comedy magician. Uh, I always like to see Stuart and Barry, who are great sort of comedy magicians. Uh, I like a bit of magic. Um, and I just like randomly going and seeing weird nonsense. Um, normally when I've seen things that I've really looked forward to, it's been terrible. And if you're in a venue, you have to see everybody else's, even if you hate them, and you have to think of something nice to say, and they have to see yours, and they have to think of something nice to say about yours. So there's an amount of, of seeing people that you've seen in their underwear in a dressing room, or you've cried, or they've cried, or... Um, I love people who doggedly, in the rain and the cold, do, you know, fire breathing which can kill you, it's slowly giving you liver poisoning, or they're still doing it, or they balance, or they juggle, or they do all the things that I wanted to do when I was a kid. I wanted to be able to juggle, or, or, or still walk, or, or be acrobatic. I, I read a biography of Grok, and I wanted to be Grok, but I realised that I was, was not physically capable, uh, really, of, of walking in a straight line most of the time. Um, and didn't have the skills, and that I didn't have that obsessive compulsive thing that would mean that I could do sleight of hand or playing a musical instrument or anything other than typing. You know, that's where my solipsistic obsessive compulsive thing went. Um, but I find it very unimpressive. Maybe everybody finds their thing unimpressive, but I would much rather have been in a horse-drawn caravan of strolling players, really. Would have been quite nice, except they don't exist anymore. I am currently reading, which I find very impressive, even if nobody else does, a thing called The Personal Heresy, which is a conversation between uh, somebody called Tilliard and uh, C.S. Lewis about whether you look at poetry as a way of meeting the poet or you don't, which is very interesting. I mainly agree with C.S. Lewis, which is you look through the eyes of the poet in order to see what the poet sees, that's the poem. The one thing you can't see is the poet, you're being the poet which I sort of agree with, or... I mean, Tilliard isn't as, as extreme now. It's interesting to read it now when so much of criticism is all about this is the writer's life, I've met them at parties, you couldn't possibly understand it, I am qualified to review it because I know them, which I think is shit and exclusive and rubbish and denies the existence of imagination. Um, at this point, it's a very tiny academic minor adjustment of an interpretation of personality. It's, it's so far from what reviewing is now. Um, and both of them are almost obsessed with, really it's about word order, really it's about language, really it's about how people manipulate language uh, on the page, really it's about the musicality of language, really it's about the writing, it's not about the person. And now it's, it's so different. Um, so it's sort of interesting and sad at the same time, but very polite, they're very polite to each other. So I completely disagree with you, but I'm so glad you're disagreeing with me so well, and I admire you so much, even though you're so wrong. Um, it's great, it's very civilised. Currently, I'm sort of rewriting a radio play, um, and I'm writing a treatment for a telly thing, uh, and I'm about to do a rewrite of a stage play. It's a sort of a dramatic year. Um, but I'm on light, light duties because of not being well. But yeah, writing for, for other people to perform, which is good because they're all better than me.